Hi, I'm Sally Sargood. I'm the Chief Video Officer at Animoto, and today we're going to take a deep dive into the design settings in the new Animoto 3 Beta. The features in the design settings will help you customize your video and make it uniquely yours. So rather than continue telling you all about it, you know that I love to show you how it works. So um, let's actually jump in and make a video. So this is the template selector. And in Animoto 3, it's going to look much the same as what you're used to. Um, so there's a bunch of different templates here. I love going to the new category right now because it features a, the most recent templates that our team have made. Um, a lot of them for the current times that we're in where we've had to change the way we do business. Uh, but you'll see lots of different templates here that are all brand new to Animoto. Um, today, I'm actually going to choose this one, a restaurant promo. And uh, we'll actually create this as a template initially. And then I'll show you how we can very quickly and easily customize that in the design settings. So the first thing you do is actually drag in or click it and upload all of your photos and video clips. So I'm going to choose a bunch of media there that we have. Um, today, I'm going to take on the uh, the persona of a business. A business is actually just downstairs from me. I live above an Irish bar. Um, so Fiddlesticks has actually had to change the way they do business and they're now doing online deliveries and also curbside pickup. We have a template for this. So we're going to adapt this template to suit a business like Fiddlesticks who've had to actually change their ways. So while the assets are still uploading, the first thing I'm going to do is change the text to suit Fiddlesticks. So let's change the name of the business up here. I'll just click on that one. Yes, Fiddlesticks. Super easy. Is now offering online ordering and I'm going to change that to curbside pickup. Okay, I don't like leaving a last little word there, so I'm going to click up here and just push return so that that's on a different line. Um, what I'll also do while we're here, you can change the size of your text. I think Fiddlesticks feels a little big for this in me, so I'm actually going to just zoom that down and make it a little bit smaller. So that looks pretty cool. Now let's go on to our next one. And we're just adjusting the text for now. Um, enjoy our delicious comforting food right at home. That sits perfectly with me. So we'll leave that as is. To order online, click the link in the bio. This will actually be a video for Instagram. So we can keep that there. And then the website and logo. So I'll change this to fiddlesticks.com and we'll leave that there. So I've just changed all of the text to suit the business that we're working with. Um, and to me, that makes it easy. You've got the narrative to know what images or video clips to match to that narrative. So that's just the way that I like to, um, to do the videos and to, to do my workflow with a video. So let's go back to the first block. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is start adding my own photos and video clips. So they're an Irish pub or bar. So I'm just going to drop a photo of a meat pie in there. It's very Irish. And we can super easy just move our text to wherever we want it to just by grabbing it and dragging it around the block. So I'm going to drag it up there so that we can see our yummy looking pie. I might zoom in on the pie a little bit. So you, again, you just click on that photo. Up here, you'll see scale. I'm going to click on scale and just zoom in a little bit. So that looks good. And that's our first block done. Uh, now onto the second block. And for this one, I would like to show maybe a variety of the different food that they offer, more than just one image. I wanna do multiple images. So I can click on this icon up here and change the layout. And I'm gonna scroll down and choose a layout that has three images because I've got three specific images or video clips that I'd like to use. So let's choose this layout. And again, we'll just start dragging in our photos and video clips. Move that one across, drag that one in, move that one. I'm going to zoom in on that too, just to, so it's just a matter of clicking, zooming and moving it around, super easy stuff. In this bottom one, I'm actually going to put a video clip. So you can mix photos and video clips now within the layouts. Um, so I'm gonna grab one video clip here and drag that across. Meanwhile, let's move the text up so we make sure we can see that. And then down here, you'll see the little scissors icon when we click on it, it's also up here, and we'll trim the video clip. So we just grab each end, 
and trim it to about there and then all the way down to it's about five seconds four seconds five seconds okay this is a little big so i'm going to just click on the text click on size and just reduce that a little bit you'll also see here this one we've got legibility because it doesn't have a solid color as the background so we can turn legibility on or off depending on what our photos and video clips look like um, so let's just preview that block that looks great looks good to me let's go on to the next block um, i'm just going to drop a video clip in here so this one's fish and chips probably a little bit more British than Irish, but most Irish bars have them. Um, again, click on trim the clip and slide our slider down. I don't want it to be all 10 seconds. We'll start about there and bring it down to about there. Click apply on that one. Again, uh, I'll leave that as is. And then we have our final block here, which is the logo. And instead of having a solid color, I think I might put a photo behind the logo. So we drop that in there. And then let's take the actual logo and drop it in that small box in the middle. So we'll drop the logo into there. You can change the size the same way of the logo. That looks a bit big, so I'm going to bring it down and also move our background photo across. You can also change the way the logo animates. So you'll see up here, you can change logo animation. And there's all these different ways that you can actually animate that. Um, so we'll do that one there. And already our video is done. Um, I'm actually going to hit preview so you can see how it looks now before we jump into design settings and start actually adapting it with some of the great features in design settings. So let me just click on that preview button um, and we'll preview it that way with the music. I've actually kept the music that was in the template. I've actually kept a lot of the text that was in the template because it's suited. Uh, and that was super quick and easy to actually create a nice looking video for Fiddlesticks downstairs. So. Let's just see if that's rendering. Pretty cool. All right, so let's close that preview. Okay, and we're back now to the video that we had and it's time to start customizing this. So up here in the corner, you'll see the design tab. And when we open that up, there's a ton of different options that you have here for your design tab. Um, what we're gonna do is I'll go through the themes first. So the themes are actually combinations of colors, fonts, filters, and video styles. And they've all been creating created by our designers. So these are where you can just click once and completely change the look of your video. Um, this fashion forward one, when we click on that, you'll see the changes that that makes to your video. And this is where I say you'll see it in real time. So you can actually see what that theme looks like in your own video. Um, so each one is a little bit different and you can just click on them. This one here actually shows our uh, emulsion theme. Let's click on that again. So this is a, a real photo feel to it with uh, film strips like this one. Uh, so if that suits your business, go for that one. Um, today I'm going to pick on this, pick this cool tropical one because I like the colors uh, that have been chosen in this. They stand out uh, with this video. And what we can now do, we can either leave that as is, and I think it looks amazing, but you can still go in and customize that after you've actually chosen a theme. You can use the theme as a starting point and then make it your own. Or again, you can just go in and totally redo it if you want to as well. Um, so the next part where we actually start to customize things is down here and we have three different tabs. There's text settings, which is your text animations. There's video settings, which is the video styles or the way things transition. And then there's the ability to add your watermark as well. So let's go through the text settings and the things that we can do here. Um, first of all, there's the font. So we can change the font to suit your brand. And we have a ton of different fonts in here. If we don't have the exact font for your brand, I'm sure there's something very similar that you can use. Um, I'm going to change this to Roboto Slab. Looks pretty cool. For some reason, it looks Irish to me. So I think that's, uh, that's super fun. Then down here is where you can change the colors within your text setting. So it's the color of the font, the color of the background, the color of the little accents that go with it. And um, 
you can actually just click on these. These settings will change the entire video. So it's a place where you can globally change the look and feel of your video just by choosing the colors here. And then if you want to tweak them, you can go to each individual block and do that, which I can show you later. But these ones are global settings that will change the look and feel of the whole video. So I'm gonna make this one here just a little bit darker instead of that light one. And then for the subtitle, let's make the text a little darker as well. So I like that, I think that looks super cool. The next thing that we go down to here is the text style. So this is how the text is going to animate on the screen and there's lots of different options that you can choose from here. If you choose something like brush strokes and you'll see that come up straight away, uh, you'll actually see that that has the solid background color on that one. And again, you can see the changes if you wanted to make any changes to that, you'll see them in real time there. I'm going to go back to that one because it has the darker background. If you choose one of these text animations that doesn't have the solid color behind it, this is where I mentioned that you can actually, let's just close this for a second. You can click on that with this text. If you actually doesn't have the solid background color, you can click legibility on or off and you can see it that way. So if you're using an animation, you can't see where I can change that color, just check on that one and make sure that it's working. Uh, so not make sure that it's working, make sure that you can see it. Um, okay, so back to the design tab. Now, where were we? I'm actually going to go back to slide in because that's the, uh, that's the text animation that was with, with the theme and I really like that one. So I'm gonna keep that one on. So now onto video settings. So video settings is more about how your video is going to transition. It's the video styles. And you'll also see down the bottom here, it also has filters. Now on this particular theme, you'll see the cool filter is on, which is giving it that blue look, which is a photography background. Um, I'm, I don't really like that blue look on my fish and chips. Uh, so I'm actually gonna take the filter off and that takes our photos back to normal. But those filters are really great to use if you do actually want to make your images look darker or a certain color, there's fade in there as well. Um, there's also like black and white, we can turn everything to black and white if you wanted to. So it's great to play with those filters too. Let's go back to none though. So um, I'm really liking the way the video is looking, uh, but let's show you a few things that you can do here. These video styles vary from very clean and simple to some really great motion graphics that will really add interest to your video if you're trying to capture that attention. So just by clicking on brush strokes here, you'll see immediately that the video starts to look very different. When you do click on a video, on a style like brush strokes, you can actually have the ability to change the background color or the accent color that's on there that you can see. So when we change the black background color, background color, uh, you'll just see that change like that. And the accent color is this little flare that comes up as well. I quite like it, that color, so we'll leave it there. Um, there's also, you'll notice too, so with brush strokes, if you specifically look at that layout in brush strokes, you'll see that it has like the three up in a certain way. If I change to a different style, like zoom in, you'll see that layout looks slightly different. And it's a lot of fun to play with that as well. So at some stage, if you've got a little bit of time on your hands, change up the different styles with the layouts. Again, if I click on film strip, you'll see that that three up layout looks very different again. So that's a great way to, that's where the creator comes out in you. Um, and you can have a lot of fun with that. I am going to go back to clean. I do find that when we've got this sliding in text animation that a cleaner transition works so that it's not there's not too much going on um, so we'll choose that one so the next thing is the watermark uh, which a lot of you will be used to using um, from Animoto 2 and it's much the same sort of thing so we just go to upload and we can choose our logo fiddlesticks logo and then that will upload here and you can choose the size of it so let me move that down to the bottom right it's actually a medium size i'm going to make it small and you can even make it solid or transparent so we can go back to it being transparent if you don't want the watermark you can also just click delete and that one's gone um, so now we'll just do some little fine tuning that we've got everything here we can go back in again and just let's make that a little bit smaller uh, onto the next one i'm going to move that one across Hang on, let me 
grab that, move it across. Might even make that a little smaller, I think. Okay, oops. And this one, I'm going to have that one come in from this side and also make that a little smaller. And I think the logo block looks great. There is one thing I am going to show you, and it doesn't have anything to do with the design settings, but I'm super excited about it, and I definitely want to share this with you. So in the Music tab now, we didn't have this last week when I actually did the tour of Animoto 3 last week, but in the Music tab, we now have the search bar, which uh, I'm super excited about. I think it's great because in an instance like this, I wouldn't mind finding some kind of Irish music. So we can actually type into there. Let's type in Ireland. One song comes up. We hover over that song. And although it sounds very Irish, I think it sounds a little slow. So let's change this. To jig and see what comes up again one song but we get we get the song we're looking for right we can again hover over that and although it starts a little slow it starts to pick up and I like that I think it suits the video so down the bottom here I wonder you can see me there yeah you can actually move the slider and because you can see the sound waves we can kind of see where that song picks up so See it around about here, we see that it, it's starting to get a little, little bit jazzier. So we can hit the play button and that's actually going to render that. Let's close that. See how that sounds. Actually, I don't know if I added that, did I? Let's check. Something I keep forgetting to do. Nope. So we go and hit the plus button. There we go. And let's move that slider up to about there. Maybe a little further. Remember to hit that plus button. I keep forgetting to do that, obviously. Uh, let's close this now. And now let's try, hit the preview button and see how that one looks. Let's have a look. It's super cool making me hungry um, but very easily we've been able to customize that to give it the look and feel of fiddlesticks more so um, that original template was amazing and we could have easily posted that but once you you do dive into these design settings you'll find some amazing combinations and like I was just saying if you find something that really suits your brand um, you can then copy that each time and make that like a template for your own um, business. So uh, definitely jump in and have a play and do that. So that's it from me today. But next week we're going to be focusing on vertical videos and ratio switching, um, which I'm super excited about. I know a lot of people are as well. But now in the Animoto 3 beta, uh, making vertical videos is not only easy, it's, it's you can make a vertical video and then easily convert it to square and landscape, which is a business enables you to be on on all platforms in the way that they actually are optimized best to be viewed best on each platform and then the same video in one click can be three different uh, different ratios so it would be that as well as specifically highlighting how to make a video a vertical video and where to use those and some of the best practices for um, platforms like Instagram stories or Facebook stories um, and how you can be creating these videos and even some like Little, uh, little tweaks and little tips to, for creating those kind of videos. Um, so join us then to discover more about Animoto 3 Beta. And uh, thank you for tuning in. And in the meantime, happy video making.